I was trying to talk about a 2020 movie, but uh, th there's nothing. Movies are dead. I believe that I have watched every movie from 2019 that's worth even thinking about watching. Did Hobbs and Shaw come out last year? I didn't watch that. I didn't watch Hobbs and Shaw. I didn't watch Aladdin. I watched a bunch of movies that I'd say were not worth watching. But really, it depends on who you ask. So, you know, I'm gonna go through and very, very quickly give you my thoughts on all 50. In order, let's begin. 47 meters down uncaged. This movie is hilarious. One out of 10. Eli. I know a guy named Eli, and this is nothing like him. 3 out of 10. Pet Cemetery. Spelled it wrong. 3 out of 10. Pokemon Mewtwo Strikes Back Evolution. This is just the same exact movie, but in 3D. Why would you do that? 3 out of 10. The Lion King. This is just the same exact movie, but in 3D. Why would you do that? 3 out of 10. In the Tall Grass. What if grass was evil? 5 out of 10. Captain Marvel. What if grass was good? 6 out of 10. Frankenstein's Monsters Monster Frankenstein. The title? Better than the movie. 6 out of 10. The Crystal Calls Making the Dark Crystal Age of Resistance. Praising Netflix for 80 minutes, but also there's some cool stuff, so 6 out of 10. Super Size Me 2, Holy Chicken. This says a lot about society, and yet we live in one. A Beautiful Day in the Neighborhood. You get Tom Hanks to play Mr. Rogers, and he's not the main character. 6 out of 10. Beach Bum. Snoop Dogg is in it, so I don't really need to say any more than that. Pain and Glory, Mostly Pain, 6 out of 10. I Lost My Body, more like I Lost My Oscar, 6 out of 10. Us, Jordan Peele, I've, I've said enough about you, 6 out of 10. Alita, Battle Angel. Anime is bad, but this was tolerable, 6 out of 10. Ford v Ferrari, your dad's new favorite movie, 7 out of 10. John Wick Chapter 3, Parabellum. I love this shit, 7 out of 10. Frozen 2, I wish I would never see Olaf again, 7 out of 10. Portrait of a Lady on Fire. Now, I don't speak French, but it seemed cool. 7 out of 10. Loving Vincent, The Impossible Dream. More like The Impossible Oscar. <laughs> Midsummer. Why didn't they leave immediately? 7 out of 10. Spider-Man Far From Home. I hope he stays far from Sony. 7 out of 10. Rocket Man, why was this so much better than Bohemian Rhapsody? 7 out of 10. Serenity, they really went with that twist. They really did that. Respect, 7 out of 10. Star Wars The Rise of Skywalker, I know I'm biased. Was this movie actually any good? Mm, 7 out of 10. Game of Thrones The Last Watch, an infinitely better send off than the actual ending of the series. 7 out of 10. It Chapter 2, Naked Old Lady Scared the Crap Out of Me, 7 out of 10. Joker, this happened to my buddy Eric, 7 out of 10. Little Woman, I Wish I Was Timothy Chalamet, 7 out of 10. The Lighthouse, both characters are named Tom in this, 8 out of 10. The Two Popes, Two Old Farts Talk in a Room for 125 Minutes, 8 out of 10. Between Two Ferns, the movie. <laughs> Look, I don't care, it was funny, 8 out of 10. Steven Universe the movie. It's basically a string of music videos. 8 out of 10. Honey Boy. Dude, do not watch this immediately after watching the Even Stevens movie. Oh my god. 8 out of 10. Toy Story 4. You know, I was kind of hoping it would be like an existential crisis nightmare about why a fork was given life and what does it mean to have life or anything. But it wasn't that. But it was still pretty good. 8 out of 10. Klaus. You deserve the Oscar. Klaus, you deserve the Oscar. I'm sorry. The Irishman, you know, loved it, just make it a little shorter. Uncut Gems, I have anxiety now, 8 out of 10. Waves, everybody gangsta till the aspect ratio changes, 8 out of 10. Marriage Story, now I have anxiety and depression, 8 out of 10. Dolomite is my name, Insane Man Makes Movie is my favorite type of movie, 8 out of 10. Jojo Rabbit, what if Nazis were funny, 8 out of 10. Once Upon a Time in Hollywood, insert joke about feet, but still give it an 8 out of 10. One Cut of the Dead, you know how 1917 is one shot, but not really because they hide the cuts? 
This movie is literally one shot. They never cut, for real. You have to see this, nine out of 10. Mr. America, I don't even know where to begin. You either know or you don't, nine out of 10. Avengers Endgame, you saw it. You saw it, nine out of 10. Knives Out, you think you know, you think you thought wrong, you rethink what you thought, but what you thought was, well, nine out of 10. Parasite, you guys know that Koreans make movies? And they're incredible, nine out of 10. Who moves out in the middle of the night? Nothing strange about it. She wanted to leave. How does that not make sense? I don't understand why she didn't tell me. Maybe she didn't like you. Maybe she knows you're poor and haven't paid your rent. I found some kind of code or like secret message in her apartment. It means to stay quiet. Our world is filled with codes, subliminal messages from Silver Lake to the Hollywood Hills. Could any of this be connected to Sarah? I know this girl. Under the Silver Lake. This movie is everything. It's a comedy. It's a drama. It's a thriller. But then it's a detective noir scavenger hunt through Hollywood. Then it's surrealist horror. But then it's like a punk romance. I, I don't even know how to recommend this. Look, if you watch this movie, there's an 80% chance you will absolutely hate it and hate me. But dude, if you're in that 20%, get ready for the weirdest and wildest movie of 2019 and probably 2020 as well. Because let's be real, what's the competition here? Scoop. Why do we assume that all of this information is what we're told it is? Maybe there are people out there who are more important than us, who are powerful, communicating things in the world that are meant for only them and not for us. Yeah. Oh, you think that's weird? A little. So there you go. It's my list. Did I forget any? Was there something you watched and thought, wow, why wasn't that on there? That was my favorite movie. Do you agree? Did you see Under the Silver Lake? Please watch Under the Silver Lake. It is free on Amazon Prime. I've listed where you can watch all of these movies. Definitely watch that. Watch everything I said in the top uh, 12. Top 12, yeah, top 12, watch those for sure. Uncut Gems and Onward, those are all amazing. They're amazing, watch them. Because in 2020, we're not getting anything. When the theaters finally open... Alright, we got Tenet. Tenet's gonna be cool. I think there's a new Wes Anderson, but I'm not sure. Uh, doesn't matter. If you're still quarantined away, if you're still locked in, and you're just... You, I got nothing to watch. I, I've watched The Office for five times. You know what? Maybe just sit down. Watch one of these movies. Originally, this video was actually gonna be serious. I was gonna actually talk about all 50 movies. <laughs> But then I thought, that's going to be incredibly long and boring. But you know what? In the description, I've included a, a write-up, because I wrote what I was going to say about all the movies. I figured, why not waste it? If there's a movie you wanted to know about a little more, I've written about a paragraph for each of these movies. If you want to read that, you can go ahead. If you want to know my extended thoughts on 47 meters down on <laughs> Caged, you can! That's the beauty of this, man. So please check it out if you want, if you care. Otherwise, stay tuned, man. More to come. I'm gonna keep making stupid videos. <laughs>